sandals are the move for Starbucks today. How many times do you re-wear your mask before you, like your disposable ones, or even like your regular ones, before you wash them? I feel like it depends on how long I wear them for. So this one that I wore last night, I wore it for like a little bit. I'm gonna just re-wear it for like the Starbucks line and maybe for the grocery store. But after that, like I'll probably throw it out. And the ones that I wear all day at work, I just change it out. Like every day I get a new mask out of my drawer. So I feel like it's just better for your skin. And it's rainy. 64 degrees outside. I'm wearing socks and slides. Okay, I'm going to Starbucks. <laughs> I feel like Sunday is a great day to treat yourself to Starbucks. My dad is my biggest supporter. He commented on my Facebook photo. <laughs> my sweetest angel dad. I love him. I look more like my dad. Literally, exactly like my dad. I, we have the same. The only thing that's different. Like we have the same like face, except I'm like a female version of him. And we just get along really well. We have great conversations. We're both, like he's a Libra and I'm a Gemini. We just get along so well because Libras are kind of like the Geminis in a way where we're like fueled by conversation. He was so hardworking. He's retired now, but because he's 78, but um, yeah, we look alike. The only thing that's slightly different is our noses are slightly different only because I, if you don't know, I got my nose, like I got a rhinoplasty. Because when I was in kindergarten, I ran head first into the jungle gym and I literally knocked myself out. That's how hard I was running. I literally ran so hard into like the jungle gym that's like bars, all those bars. I don't know if they have those anymore, but they're like all those bars where you can like literally hang in all areas. I ran head first into that and knocked myself out. Yeah, so I broke my nose really bad. It never, my face like, I mean when you're six years old and you like hit yourself in your face that hard, I feel like you're, the way that your face grows, it, um, just grows different because you like literally s hit your face so hard on something so young so that's that's the story my face will never be like perfectly unless I go through like extensive surgery so why do I always have like the deepest conversations in the car but my face will never be symmetric and people have pointed that out before I mean what I mean all you see is my face I'm on YouTube so I get it and people um, used to make fun of my nose really badly I've always been made fun of my nose so people still make fun of my nose on YouTube it, I changed it a little bit it used to look a lot worse um, and I straightened it out I did a rhinoplasty but um, I mean, obviously I can't do much to it. I can only work with what I have with my nose. I can't add skin to it. I can't. Caramel and sweet cream polka? Yes. All right, it's gonna be 453. Okay, thank you. And I don't even know why I went on this tangent, honestly, just because my dad commented on my Facebook post. But I'm at a point in my life where this is me and I've accepted like this part of me and it's taken me a really long time to accept something on me that I can't change and um, I like push all of you to accept like parts of your body that you don't like and honestly especially if it is especially hard if people make fun of those parts of your body that you physically like can't change um, I've gotten a nose job so I have changed like it being completely like so crooked and I've also changed the tip a little bit so it doesn't like tip down it was the first thing I did when I turned 18 um, after my face started growing stopped growing and um, it was the best decision I ever made but I still get like hate for it and I honestly probably will the more like that I grow on YouTube and I've like accepted the fact but it like 
stings just a little bit commenting like oh my god your nose or oh my god like all I see is like her nose cheers to accepting like parts of your body that you once thought were awful and um, loving yourself more and yeah and realizing like look I will never have a symmetrical face because of what I did when I was six years old. I will not have a nose like anyone else. I don't see anyone else with my nose, honestly. And it's something that I look at. And that's okay. I wouldn't be me without my nose. And I knew that putting myself out on the internet, I would get like hate for any, honestly anything. Um, you kind of do get judged for literally everything that you do, regardless of what it is. So I knew that that's what I was gonna get and at first it was so hard because, I don't know, people were just, people were honestly just so rude, so rude and people still are. And I don't know, I'm a real person. That is why I try to like lead so much with kindness because I know what it feels like to have people not be so kind. And yeah. Basically, this is the year of like accepting ourselves, loving ourselves, and like this is how we are. There's no one else like me and there's no one else like you on this whole entire earth. Like no one and that's what we have i've accepted myself for the way that i am and i encourage you guys to do the same and for all the haters out there um you're just gonna have to do better than commenting on that because it's taken me years to get to where i am and to get to me being like okay this is me i can't change this about me I love me for the way that I look, the way that I am, and I am proud to say like I have a kind heart and um, I like lead each day with kindness and um, that's what I have and I am sure of that and yeah, so cheers to everyone. I just checked my mailbox and I just got more liquid IV in. I think I have like three left or yeah, or two left. I keep them in this jar and I love, I've mentioned them before multiple times honestly on my channel, but um, I like them for days that I work out. It helps with like headaches and like headaches the next day from dehydration and just replenishing the electrolytes that you lose during a workout. Okay, I just got back from Publix and I wanted to show you what I got because it's kind of, I guess, like a healthy grocery haul. So bananas, um, pico, guac, turkey, corn, black beans, taco seasoning, and tomatoes. This is what I'm going to make for my lunches for the week. So I, I know this I could have made this, but I just thought it would be easier. So that way I can heat this stuff up in the microwave and then just add this stuff on the side when I get to work. These are the best chips. These are our favorite. The nacho flavor is really good. Best granola, just the original one. It's really good. I got this balsamic. I haven't tried it yet, so figured it'd be good on top of salads or chicken or anything. I hated that oat milk that I got last week and they were in stock of Oatly. They didn't have the original one, so I just got the low-fat one. Kombucha, I've been really into drinking kombucha, and the gingerade one is my favorite. Green beans for dinners, like as a side. Um, I got the Ezekiel English muffins for breakfast, on the weekends, like avocado, egg, 
or just like egg cheese sandwich. More lemons, Brussels sprouts, clementines, and then I also got strawberries. I cut them all up, put them in a bowl, and then you can just grab them and go throughout the week, so it's really easy. So I'll cut those up and put them in a bowl in a second. This yogurt, it's really good with strawberries. And then this granola on top. Honestly, just eating this plain is really good too. If you have like a sweet tooth after dinner, just having like a handful of this is good and it's healthy. So I got two of those. I just get the unsweetened one. And then lastly, I got this flavor of poppy last week. I got the strawberry and lemon. So I decided to try the strawberry raspberry and rose one this week so that's the haul this one's better babe do you want to try i like the raspberry and rose one better but christian likes the strawberry and lemon so try both okay it is 618 I've been editing last weekend's video and then I just put together my meal prep lunches for the week and I wanted to show you because it's something different I've never tried this before and I love tacos so I figured I would share just in case you guys are in the same rut sometimes where you just don't know what to prep for your lunches if you meal prep for a job class whatever it may be here is a little recipe. I just did black beans, corn, ground turkey with one third of a low sodium taco seasoning packet or you can create your own taco seasoning or you can just do salt pepper, it doesn't matter. Then a little bit of jasmine rice. I kept this separate from the lettuce and tomato and chips because this is what I'll be heating up in the microwave. So I kept four of those laid out like this because this will be my microwaved Tupperware. And then in here I just have like a spring mix tomato and then some of these grainless uh, tortilla chips that we got from Trader Joe's. They're so good. So I just put those on the side because I didn't want to waste a plastic bag or anything like that for them. So I did that and then I put the Pico. I got this Pico today at Publix. So I got this Pico and I put it in these little containers to have off to the side because I didn't want to prep this little salad tomato mixture every day so more Tupperware is fine, doesn't matter. So I just put it in little Tupperwares to have on the side and then also this guac came individually wrapped. I just wanted to do guac instead of avocado because avocado can go bad. I don't eat a whole avocado every day, so I didn't want to waste it. So I thought this would be just like an easy way to put like avocado or guac on it. So this is my lunch for the week. It's going to be really good. I mean, you can't go wrong with like a little taco bowl. So we're going to dinner. Don't know where we're going to dinner, but we're going somewhere. Do you guys ever get in your car and not know where you're going and you just decide last minute? I guess um, we're going to pick up. AP, who you guys have met before. But um, that's what we're doing. So I'll let you know where we end up going. Sprinkled? You don't like anything like cream filled or anything? No, cream filled is gross. That's the biggest cat. Does that song sound triggering to anyone? That's miserable. I think I'm just gonna get glazed. A glazed. What do you want? I'm gonna go original cream filled. Okay, can I do a hey, chocolate sprinkled what else? Um, and then can I do um, just original glazed? Okay. And then can I do original cream filled? Yep. And then an original cream filled. Anything else? No, that's it. So far, please. Thank you.